Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at sampling colours from an image and getting detailed information about those colours in a way that is really accessible. So I have an image here that has some colours in use. I'm going to select the entire image by choosing select and then all. I'm going to the swatches panel which right now you can see is empty. I want to bring all of these colours into the swatches panel so I'm going to click here on new swatch colour group. I'm just going to call this fruit. I'm going to select selected artwork and I'm going to convert process to global and just click OK. And that creates a colour group with all of the colours that are in use in this particular image. I'm going to click away from the document here. Now this new feature is available in Adobe Illustrator 29.1 and later, so that's Illustrator 2025. To check if you've got the right version, you'll click on Help and go to About Illustrator. I'm on 29.7.1, so that's well and truly acceptable. So to now identify the colours that are in use in the image and get information about them, I'm going to click on this fruit colour scheme. And I'm going to the fly out menu and I'll choose here create swatch info. That opens up a dialogue here. What I'm aiming for is a series of little boxes each one of which has one of these colors in it. Now I'm going to make my boxes 100 pixels by 100 pixels so they will be squares they don't have to be. The text that's going to tell me about the colors I'm going to make black. And now I can determine what I want to see about those colours. And I do want the RGB values for each colour. You can also ask for hex, HSB and CMYK or any combination of these. Don't actually need CMYK or HSB so I'm going to leave them out of my particular panel. You can ask to see the colour name and the ink type and also show a card background. I'm going to ask for a card background for mine but nothing else and I'll just click create. And what I get now is a series of little cards with the information I requested. So here are each of the colors with their hex name and their RGB value. So you can get detailed information about the colors in your image this way. It's really, really helpful in terms of checking the colors that you've got in use. If there's any question about using brand colors, for example, or you might want to use those colours in some other process and you may want to just check and see what their hex, RGB, CMYK or HSB values are. This feature is really cool, I really like it in Illustrator, new in 29.1 and later so I hope you enjoy using it. Of course you don't have to sample colours from an image, you can also go and get your colours from something else. I'm going to get some colours from this beach colour scheme. So here are the colours I've chosen and to get the colour information about these I'll just click on the colour group, go to the fly out menu, choose create swatch info. I'm going to choose the exact same values as I chose last time, click create and these are selected as they're created so I could just move them into position. It's also possible to get this information for colours that aren't actually even in a colour group so I'm going to take these colours out of their colour group. I'm going to select on the first one, shift click on the last one and go again to the Create Swatch Info dialog. This time let's go for HSB and CMYK values as well. I'll click Create and here are the colour swatch information for these colours that I had selected in the swatches panel. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.